Well, we saw it all last night as the rain came down fast and furious. And the summer storm raised good questions for CCO viewers like, what exactly is lightning and thunder? How about a rainbow? Heather Brown turned to some budding scientists as well as a current one for the answers. What did you think of the storm? Oh, yeah, yeah. that was crazy. Check out the double rainbow and he caught a lightning burst in there at the same time. How about it? That big flash of light scares me. But then I realized how it happened and I thought it was pretty cool. So we asked these Bakken Museum science campers to help us out. So here's our question. What is lightning? You have to Lisa have Meadows. Cloud. It all starts with the clouds. So pitched clouds. in too. Lightning comes from the clouds during a rainstorm. As thunderstorm clouds continue to billow, billow higher and higher into the atmosphere, mm -hmm. eventually you have ice crystals. Like electrons up in the cloud rub against each other. The static electricity builds up. That causes a charge. Well, if you get enough of that going, that charge has to be released. Because the clouds want to get rid of it. And then kaboom. Thunder better. Okay, what's thunder? Other than my dog's name. <laughs> thunder. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. The molecules around the lightning get too hot. So hot that it actually expands the air out. Mm. And once that lightning charge goes through and it's gone, where does that air go? Back. They'll all clap back together. So why do we hear it so many seconds later? Because the lightning travels so much faster than thunder. Light is faster than sound. You'll never have thunder without lightning. Did you see the rainbow? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I saw a double rainbow. In order to have a rainbow, you have to have two things. You have to have light, and you also have to have water. The sun goes through some of those raindrops that are falling. It will allow you to see all of these colors that the air is made out of. It looks like we went to the right place for today's science lesson. I want to be a scientist when I grow up. A cryptozoologist. I want to be a veterinarian. An engineer. Heather Brown. I have no doubt that's going to happen. WCCO 4 News.